Hi YouTube. This video is going to be an update on my edges and my alopecia. I've gotten a lot of questions about what I'm doing to maintain my edges or you know pretty much for my alopecia. Am I doing anything special? <clears throat> I can say I haven't done anything special in the past year and a half to my edges. Um, not using any special uh, mixture. I, I've been using the same oil mixture I've been mixing for the past like three years or so ever since I started on my journey for my alopecia and my edges. So nothing additional outside of that. I don't use it on a regular basis only because it does have oils in it that my husband doesn't like the smell of. So <clears throat> I may use them like once or twice a week, if even that much. So usually I'll go weeks without using it and I tend to use it when he's traveling for work. So I'll show you some of the oils that I do add to it. Pretty much I add any oil that I have laying around the house in terms of like olive oil, grapeseed oil. Those are more like base oil, carrier oils you can use for these oils. Um, I do add castor oil to my mixture. I've been using this for a very long time. This is the Lavender Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I purchased this on Amazon. So I add that to my oil mixture for my scalp and my edges. I purchased this uh, like last year. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. I'm not going to try. I will put the spelling on the screen so that you can write it down, <laughs> anything in, uh, of that nature. So I mix some of this into it. This is an Indian oil. I purchased these from an Indian store uh, locally here in my area. This is another Indian oil that I put into my mixture. Again, I'll put the name of this on the screen because you probably can't see it. That's probably too bright behind the screen. And then some argan oil. I purchased some argan oil. I don't really use a lot of this. I just pour a little bit into it. The first three oils are the main base and then I put olive oil in it. I do use vatika oil. I don't have it sitting in front of me but I do use vatika oil in that mixture and then I'll use a lot more olive oil just as a base because it's cheap and I can get it easily at, at, at my local grocery store versus these oils. This one alone was $10. So uh, I'm, I use those kind of sparingly in my mixture. So uh, I'll show you my edges. You've seen my edges in my past videos. So you can see you know, edges are looking very good. I will show you my alopecia because I do get questions on if I still have it. Has it cleared up? So, here, here you can see one of my spots I had. You can see it is not cleared up. I just tend to keep it covered with my hair. And I do styles where I cover it up so you can still see it depending on how I style my hair. You can see it's not much hair really covering there. And then I'll show you the other side. This side is usually harder for me to find. I can't find it without a good mirror. So this side has grown in a lot better. I don't even see where it's, where it's even at on this side. It was right here. Hmm. 
it was in this area I'm not exactly sure where it's at because I don't focus on my alopecia very much. I don't even check the spots. I, I haven't checked my alopecia spots in maybe a year and a half. So uh, I don't like to dwell on them or even focus on them. If I, I have to go to my bathroom mirror to even locate it. Okay, you guys. So... I went to the bathroom to see if I can find a spot over here and I cannot find it. Um, I, I'm a little bit shocked right now because I haven't actually checked to see whether it was growing in or the progress. Like I said in, in the past year and a half or since my last update, which I know had to have been like 2000. Uh, I want to say January 2013, so um, it's grown in. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I, I, I don't even know how to even explain it or say, <laughs> really, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So if, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them the best way I can. Uh, what I will say that I've been doing is my scalp massages. I still do scalp massages even as far along in my journey as I am. At the end of this month, on the 29th, I will make five years uh, natural. And I still do my scalp massages uh, on my edges and just, I always focus on my edges, particularly on my temple area. And then I always focus on the rest of my hair in regards to my scalp massages. Again, I think uh, your oils are going to make a lot of difference in your growth of of your hair in general. Not just for your alopecia, but just in of your hair in general. I know a lot of people rave about castor oil. And you'll hear a lot of people say, get you some castor oil. Castor oil is what's going to make your edges grow back. It's going to make your hair grow back. It's castor oil. It's castor oil. It's castor oil. I am here to say there's nothing wrong with using castor oil in your mixture, but there are better oils on the market. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. This is not in the Bible. <laughs> there is no natural hair Bible. It's just my opinion. This is just what worked for me. There are better oils than castor oil that help with alopecia. My recommendation is to get on the internet. This is what I did. I researched oils or anything that was good for regrowing hair, that was good for alopecia, hair loss, things like that. Castor oil is not the only oil on the market that is good for hair growth oils, you know, that's good for um, regrowing your hair. A lot of these oils that I just showed previous are really good. There's rosemary oil, there's lavender oil, there's thyme oil, there are so there's cedar wood. I use all of these oils. I, I still have them. I've been using them ever since I went on my growth journey for my alopecia. They're a little bit more potent, so you can't use as much. You have to be careful of the quantity or, or the amount that you use of those oils because they will burn your scalp or they will cause irritation to your scalp if you're not careful of the mixture. So a little bit goes a long way. So just uh, keep that in mind. So my hair is, this is a twist out that I did. Um, I haven't worn my hair in a twist out in a while. I don't really wear my hair out anymore since I've been really working out a lot. And I just don't want to deal with my hair. So, if you have any questions about my, I guess, alopecia, my edges, just what I'm doing, feel free to, you know, leave me a comment in the comment box. And I will respond uh, as fast as I can. Uh, I've been very busy traveling with work and stuff, so I'm not able to respond as fast. If you leave me a message on Facebook, I've been getting a lot of messages on Facebook uh, I don't have the Facebook app on my phone or the messenger. So if you leave me a message on Facebook, I have to, usually I, I don't check that every once in a while. And for some odd reason, the messages have not been popping up. Even when I do get on Facebook, it doesn't show me that I have messages from you all. So uh, there may be some delay on Facebook uh, if I do check that. So again, this is my hair, my alopecia, 
my edges and if you have any questions leave them down below alrighty bye